after the completion of the analysis there is a display option go that display option and story response plots click on the story response plot option so this is the most important parameter mm -hmm. this story response will show you what is your base shear what is your uh, uh, deflection of the structure for example first of all i select maximum story displacement and what is your my deflection for the for example i find out wind load earthquake load then select earthquake then it will give you the earthquake blue line indicate the x direction earthquake y line indicate the red direction earthquake and i have selected case earthquake in x direction so my earthquake in x direction deflection is nearly coming upon 65 mm and our uh, structure as per the code our the deflection limit criteria for the wind uh, earthquake load is maximum permissible uh, deflection is height divided by 250 in our case our height is nearly 30 meter so permissible uh, deflection required is 120 mm and our uh, deflection coming is 65 mm is within the well within the limit similarly you select y direction y direction is nearly coming 36 mm then select wind load for the wind load there is less low uh, deflection that is around 30 mm or all 30 mm <clears throat> then story shear select on story shear option and select earthquake in x direction parameter so if you see the story shear total base shear coming our structure is 1640 kN if you see in uh, bottom of the that graph is the nearly 1640 and uh, story shear behavior is also okay for lip to uh, uh, at terrace level story uh, shear is 44 kN to uh, at terrace level 391 kN then story say 1728 kN so all the shear force lateral load applying at every lower is adding adding each and every floor and then base shear will come so our base shear is 1640 this base shear you check with your manual calculation also in the code there is formula given so this is the formula uh, for the base shear ah w w means seismic weight and ah means uh, seismic acceler acceleration coefficient so you can check the manually also base shear with the e tabs by the hand calculation similarly we have to check earthquake in y direction so y direction earthquake base shear is 1250 at the time there is x direction zero because we have considered only x and y direction if we consider x direction eccentricity y direction eccentricity then the picture will different so this is our base shear representation of the earthquake base shear representation story shears
Similarly, if you want to see the x direction, wind wind load in x direction, base shear. There is a problem in wind load. Y direction definition because uh, right now we are not changed the direction that why he is given in 90 uh, x direction base here we we have to go back to the our, our wind load calculus primary load case and change the direction from the year you say the deflection story shear story drift also you can see or story stiffness Story stiffness, I will show you. Now, this is my story stiffness. That means uh, in our structure, if you see, for ground level, there is a no wall loading. Ground is open. Only a certain part of their shops are there and behind that there is a no wall loading or no uh, non-structural element. Therefore, at that level, mass is very low, our structure. And above that, there is a regular construction. Therefore, our steepness of the structure is less in ground level. And then from the story one, two, two, three, four is a same steepness. So you can see here from the story shear, story displacement, story drifts option. So this is our the load application in earthquake direction at all load. This force is indicating the how much force is in, uh, applying in uh, diaphragm at the diaphragm point. That is CG of the force. And that much is the force acting on the structure at each level in earthquake in X direction. That's the 342, 372. In earthquake direction, more load is, uh, lateral load is uh, applying at the topmost level. As soon as we go to the below floor, the load is less. So same exactly behavior is, same behavior is happening in our structure also. Story one shear is very less. That is 24 kilonewton. Then story two, 52. Story three, 93. As it is increasing. That means uh, the, our structural analysis is uh, as per uh, code and as per the actual condition. If uh, anything happens and story shear is high in first level and uh, story shear is less in terrace level, that means we have to find out where to we have made a mistake. So all this presentation given in the code and uh, earthquake book also. So try to correlate these examples with our uh, practical buildings then we, you will let to know how the structure is behaving and how the software is calculating similarly earthquake in y direction so this option is uh, very good uh, in old version, uh, that much of option is not available, but that included in your new version. Go to the display option, story response plots, where you will find all these options. Display type, story displacement, story shears, <coughs> so overturning moments, and select the load combination accordingly okay then 
we have to go back to the unlock the go to define <coughs> load patterns here modify lateral load modify show here is the 0 90 right then in y direction we have to change the direction of that wind load go go here is 90 place here 90 and 0 okay okay and then go back to the analysis <clears throat> then go to the display option <clears throat> Right now we're showing correct presentation. <clears throat> 